Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick uh, review or color show. I don't know what you want to call it, but I have all kinds of, of the Pabio uh, Dyna iridescent colors. I think I bought all of them. I even got both golds because I wasn't sure the difference between just gold and precious gold. But of course now I can kind of see the difference. So. I just kind of wanted to go through and I've already checked out the colors to tell you the truth and I made like a I used this just an eight and a half by eleven um, we'll do it this way paper it's like a hundred and ten pound cardstock but then I went I didn't like it it messed up once I tried to use the stamp so I punched it and I have all of these cool like just little bits I have all these cool stencils, but stencils, but when I used a regular paintbrush, obviously it kind of jumped up. So I just kind of went with it and then just cut pieces out that I liked. And they're all just the one. I wish I had larger punches, but I have heard maybe possibly Hobby Lobby has put punches on sale in some cases. So I'm going to go check that out. These are all just like one inch punches. They're squares, circles. Anyway, that's what I did with that. So I wanted to kind of show you guys. And I guess we'll, we'll go ahead and just start with the golds yeah this is just regular iridescent gold I'm just gonna just kind of paint Oop. make a mess and I bought these on uh, dickblick.com I found them at the best price there so that's where I would suggest doing it. I think they're still doing a sale. Sorry, I'm not going to try to find my paper towels. Apparently I don't have any. Um, oh, well, this will do. But apparently uh, they're still doing a sale. I'll link it below. Um, I think I got them for like three something each. And once you get like 30 something dollars, shipping's free. So pretty cool I did end up having to add some other paints when I got these so, um, what did I end up getting I got a couple of small like one ounce goldens so you see you can kind of see the difference uh, I did bring water but I did not bring paper towels so here's the what is this orange I kind of wanted to do copper but that's okay And these are so pretty. Just kind of wanted to. So there's the, let's go ahead and do the copper. This is the copper next to the orange. Whether you paint or jelly print, which is what I'm probably going to use these a lot for. I definitely recommend these paints. Um, Blick did not have, and this is the copper, uh, Blick did not have the regular PBO or PBO paints. Um, I found them cheapest, the, the regular, the, the translucents and the, uh, their heavy body, which I think are still kind of translucent-y. And this is the silver. Uh, I found them on Amazon. I'm sorry, I did find them on Amazon, but they were cheapest on eBay coming from the UK have not ordered them yet they are waiting to restock I kind of want to order one one order instead of twice so there's the silver and it's kind of blended I'm not rinsing my brush out I intended to I didn't I'm not this is the green blue all on my hand oh that's way more than I wanted and these are, are basically four ounce container. You guys can't see. They're basically like four ounce containers or tubes. So this was the green blue. And here they also have a blue green. Yeah, which is very similar, but it obviously has a little bit more blue in it. So you're probably not going to. 
my battery's dying, so I am trying to make this fast. Er. So there's very little difference between the two, but this one does have a little bit more blue in it. This is the blue-black. Oop, oop, way too much. I've got way too much paint. That's okay. See, this one's really cool. It's blue, and it's got, like, undertones of black. Pretty cool. I like it, anyway. I don't know what I'm going to do with the pieces that I, um... I punched out with the other one, but I'll figure something out. I mean, it, I don't know. I may use them for, for something. I don't know. Um, this is mostly dry over here. No, no, it's not. I lied. We'll just go ahead and get a different piece of paper. I'm just kind of put this, here you go. You can kind of see the colors we use. You can see the copper and the orange are really close. The gold and the precious gold are close, so depending on the richness that you're looking for between those two, you may not want both. The blue, green, and ble green blue are close. This one has more blue. Uh, that one has more green. And then here's the blue black, which I really like that color. Um, so what I'm going to try now are these. I've got three more. Hopefully I can make it for my camera dies. That's kind of the size drops I was looking for. This is violet blue. And these are iridescents. So I don't know if you guys can see. You see that's, you see the blue? That's where the blue is. And they are kind of thin. But that's cool. It's perfect for what I... I don't know what I'm looking for, but it's perfect for what I'm going to be playing with because I'll probably I'll do a lot of layering. This one is a really pretty color. It is red blue. See, it's red with the blue iridescent in it. And then I have one more. I'm trying to get some more of that paint off because this is a completely different color. This is green yellow. Green used to be my Green is still my favorite color. But this used to be my lime green used to be my favoriteest, favoriteest color. So check that out. See the green and the yellow? I don't know. These are just these paints are so. They're really pretty. Very very pretty. I'm gonna go back to this one and kind of do this a little bit. Throw in some more color. What I'm probably going to end up doing is kind of like I did the other page that, well, you guys didn't see the page, but you saw the punch outs, is I will take, I have a, like a, just a craft plast, uh, black iridescent. It was, it's not a Pebio, it's a, I don't even know what brand it is, it's some, one of the cheap brands, and I'll end up getting that, and I will try again at stenciling it. And we'll see how it turns out. I hope it turns out okay. I don't know what I'm going to use these for. I'm probably going to glue them somewhere. I don't know. I'll glue them somewhere. They make really cool. I'm telling you guys. Look, I mean, see if I can find a really cool piece. Like, I mean, just look at, I don't know. They're cool. But they're so, I don't know, I like them. I definitely recommend these if you haven't seen them. If you have seen them, go buy them if you haven't already. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of what I wanted to do really quick. It's just a quick little video. Just kind of show off these paints. I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to use it as some kind of background. I don't know. Probably going to jelly print in a, in a few minutes. But my battery's dying, so you guys probably won't see that. Sorry, next time. Um, yeah, that was all I wanted to show you guys. I definitely recommend them. I will link below where I got these from. Go check them out. Uh, please like this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And until next time, bye.